This is another video about using Blender, AccuRig and Miximo together. So in this video I'm going to show you how to rig a character with AccuRig and apply Miximo animations to it and that will be done using only three tools. I did another almost identical video using AutoRig Pro and QuickRig, which are paid add-ons. So if you like to work with AutoRig Pro, then check out that video. But if you want to know this workflow, then let's move on. So what you'll need to follow along is, of course, AccuRig and also the CC Blender Tools add-on. I'm going to share a link to this um, GitHub page and then you go to the latest release and download the source zip. And also, for this presentation, I'll be using this soldier model, which is a uh, CC attribution model, and I'm going to share a link to it as well. So here I have the model in Blender. I did change it a little bit, but it won't affect the workflow. Okay, so now the first step is, of course, to rig this character with AccuRig. So I need to export it out of Blender. I'll go to File, Export, FBX, and save it as Soldier from Blender. And that way I know that this is the file exported from Blender. Then I'll start AccuRig and just drag and drop this FBX file into AccuRig. Give it a second. And here it is. It is a symmetrical model, so the symmetry line looks good. I'll rig the body, or rather allow AccuRig to calculate the points automatically. I'll enable symmetry and do some slight modifications to these points. And if you want more detail about this process, please watch the previous video, which goes into more detail about placing these points. Okay, looking good. I'm going to rig the hand now. The positioning is almost perfect. I'm going to do some slight changes. Okay, looking good. I'm going to move on to the left hand. And because the character is symmetrical, all I need to do is use the mirror to left hand button. And the points will be aligned correctly. And then I'll finalize the character. Okay. Um, and things are looking good. I explained this a couple of times already in different videos, but if the shoulder area is looking weird, then you may want to go back to body rig and readjust the collarbone and shoulder points. But this is looking good to me. I'm going to test some poses. And then go ahead and export the character as FBX. I'll set my target application as Blender and export. So this is my soldier from AccuRig. I'm going to save it. Go back to Blender. And I'll move the unrigged character out of the way. And here I could go to File, Import FBX, and import the uh, file from AccuRig. But that creates a problem with the materials, which we can fix manually. But what is more important is that if I do it like this, I won't be able to create a Rigify armature from this character. So I'm going to cancel this and go to the CC Pipeline tab. So if you don't have this, it means that you haven't installed the add-on yet, so we have to go to Edit Preferences, click on Install, and go to the folder where you downloaded the CC Blender Tools add-on. Find it, select it, and press Install Add-on. Now, since I already have it, um, it's over here, and I also have the check mark next to it. So make sure that it is installed and enabled. And then you'll have the tab. So here you can press the Import Character button and select your character from AccuRig and click Import. And Blender crashed. Um, that's unusual. So let's try this again. Import Character. And this time it did work. I'm not sure why it crashed, but it doesn't seem to be a permanent problem. So here I have the rigged character. If I go to pose mode for this armature, I can manipulate it. But the textures are missing. So this is very easy to fix with this add-on. I just have to go to object mode and go to the rigging and animation sub panel. And here you'll find the match existing materials button. I'm not sure why this button is here under rigging and animation. Makes no sense, but it is. 
So this is how you can reapply your uh, materials. So now I can delete the unrig model. Okay, and the next step in the process is also in rigging an animation. Uh, I'm just going to press the rigify button. Okay, and that gave me a fully functioning rigify rig. So I already showed this in the previous AccuRig video, so that's not that interesting. The point of this video is to show you how to apply Miximo animation to this Rigify rig. Okay, so now we want to grab some Miximo animations. I recommend that you use the Ninja model because I know for sure that it has a certain type of um, Miximo armature that is going to be easy to use. Some of the other characters may have a slightly different bone hierarchy and bone names. But for this workflow, you, you may actually want to import your own character into Miximo and also rig it with the Miximo tools so that you get a skeleton with the exact proportions of your character. And that will help us in the retargeting process. That isn't absolutely necessary, but, but if your character's proportions are not that of the average human, then you may want to create a Miximo armature for it. But anyway, uh, I'm going to work with the ninja here and just apply a random animation to it. Maybe this one, and just download it without skin. Okay, back to Blender. I'm going to go to File, Import, FBX, and import my walk animation. And there are other animations that I've downloaded before. So let's just select all of them and import them at once. Okay, so I'm going to select the two additional armatures and delete them. I just need one armature and all of the actions are in the blend file. If I go to dope sheet, action editor, I'll find the Miximo actions and I can rename them so that they make more sense. Cool, and I'll switch to the walk. Okay, so now let's talk about retargeting or transferring this motion capture data to our rigged character. So the CC plugin has a special feature for retargeting animations and it works great, but it only works with animation assets from ActaCore. I tried to make it work with um, other assets such as Miximo, but it didn't work and it almost felt like I'm trying to crack the system, uh, which I don't want to do. So we'll leave these tools alone and will work with another retargeting solution for Blender, that is the Rococo add-on. So Rococo is a company that sells an affordable mock-up suit. But even if you don't have the suit, you can use their Blender add-on and use it for retargeting. So go to 3D Software Blender and from here download the Blender plugin. Not Studio, but the plugin. Okay, now in Blender, again, uh, you're going to install it as any other add-on. Edit Preferences, Add-ons, Install. Find the add-on and install it, and activate it. Okay, then go to the Rococo tab, and you have to sign in with Rococo. So when you press this button, it will take you to the uh, website and then you'll have to log in with your credentials, or if you don't yet have an account, you have to create one. Uh, it's free, it's straightforward. Um, and once you're logged in on the website, it will automatically log you in here in Blender. So then you can go to the updater and check for updates. And it seems like I'm up to date, but this is a quick way to make sure that you're using the latest version. And then we'll go to retargeting. So now for my source, I'm going to select the Miximo armature and for target, I'm going to pick the Rigify rig and then I'll build bone list. And you'll see that Rococo attempted to match the bones automatically, but unfortunately it tries to use a lot of the DEF bones of Rigify, which are not meant to be animated. So this is the part of the process that can be very time consuming and annoying. You have to manually match the correct bone pairs, but I got you covered. I created Rococo presets, which can be imported here by just uh, scrolling down and clicking on the import button. 
And here I'll go to my Rococo presets, uh, which I'm going to share with you. Uh, it's going to be free. And for the first demonstration, I'm going to use the Mixamo FK preset and import it. So now I find this a little bit um, unintuitive, but after you import it, nothing happens. And what you need to do is press the rebuild bone list button again. And now the bone list will be reset, taking into account the preset that I just imported. Okay, you'll see that there is still this DEF spine uh, entry here. I'm going to delete it. We are going to leave this space here empty. So if I go to pose mode for this rig and enable X-ray so that I can see the bones, um, here's the second spine bone. And in Rigify, instead of controlling the body, the upper body, it kind of controls the lower body. And that is why I want to avoid using this uh, second spine bone. This means that you'll lose a little bit of information from the mockup data, but it's going to be fine. I don't think you'll notice it. And all of the other entries should be correct. And that also includes all of the fingers. That is super annoying if you have to do it manually. So I'm saving you so much time. And now another step that we need to take before we can retarget is to select any of the arm widgets and go to item and switch the IKFK slider to one. Also for the other arm and for the legs. So we are going to be retargeting this motion to the FK controls because that is the easiest, that is the most straightforward. But I'm also going to cover how you can work with IK, so uh, stay tuned. So now I have to go to Rococo and I'm actually ready to retarget. If I, um, if I go to object mode, select this armature and check its rest position, you'll see that it's a T-pose, just like my actual character. And so the poses are a perfect match, so all I need to do is retarget. Now, if my character was in, say, a, an A pose with the arms like that, then I would need to um, reset the position of this skeleton to the center of the world, just press Alt G, and then I'll go to pose position, go to pose mode and clear all transforms. And then I would align these arms to be an A pose as well. Okay, and then instead of using the uh, rest pose, I would have to set it to use current. But in this case, uh, that won't be necessary. So I'll choose rest and it's going to work just fine. So if you want to know all of these uh, details about working with Rococo, I have a detailed one hour guide to Rococo. Feel free to check it out. Okay, so I'll go to pose mode and then go to Rococo. Make sure that I'm in pose position for both armatures. Make sure that both armatures are in the center of the world and then click the big retarget animation button. And there you go, uh, we have the walking animation. Okay, so let's talk about IK now. One way to get this animation to the IK controls is to use a dedicated Rigify tool. So if I go to pose mode and select this IK widget, I can go to item. And here is um, a button that snaps the IK to the FK. So if I use it, it will just snap to the current position of the FK legs. And if I want to bake the entire FK animation to the IK controls, I can just use the action button and confirm and wait a while. So this took about around 10 seconds and we need to do it for each individual control. So once more for the other leg and then again for the left arm and finally for the right arm. Okay, so that's great. Now we have um, the IK following the FK. Uh, I'm, I'm still in FK mode, but if I switch to IK here, then the leg will be controlled by the IK, which gives you a lot of freedom to edit these animations. But the problem is that this uh, feature that bakes IK to FK is very slow. You saw that each part took like 15 seconds for just 40 frames of animation. So it's pretty slow. Uh, and if it's just one uh, action, that's fine. But if you have many, then it becomes way too slow. And so let's look at a way to uh, retarget directly to the IK controls. I'm going to undo. 
and here my character is still not animated uh, and if I go to pose mode I'm going to switch all of the controls back to IK okay and now I'll go back to Rococo press the import button again and this time I'll import the IK preset so after that again I have to press the uh, rebuild bone button and now again let's get rid of this TEF bone for the second spine So I'm not sure why, but I, I cannot get the IK preset to work. Uh, I always get the FK bones assigned for some reason. Uh, I'm going to try to make it work and again I'll share the preset with you. But in the meantime we can tweak it manually. So again I'm going to get rid of this DEF spine bone. And then I'm going to change all of the arm and leg entries. So for the left arm I want the upper, upper arm IK.L. The forearm I'm just going to get rid of it because in IK we do not control the forearm directly. For the hand, I want hand ik.l. Then scroll down and find the right arm. So again, I want the upper arm ik, no forearm and hand ik.r. And here it should be .r as well. And then for the legs, it's the same thing. Um, I want the thigh ik.l shin I won't be using foot foot ik.l now for the toe I'm going to use the toe ik.l if you're using an older version of blender you may not have the ik toe and you should just use the fk toe let's do the same for the right leg Okay, so that's the process. Um, now I have the bones matched. I'm going to select the source armature and press Alt G to move it in the center of the world. Rest position is fine in this case. And here the auto scale option may uh, actually cause problems, but let's try to retarget and then we'll see what happens. And so the animation was retargeted, but you'll see that uh, something is really off with the positioning. So let's undo and disable auto scale and then click retarget okay so this is looking much better i'm going to undo again and then um, grab this uh, source armature in object mode and scale it up a little bit and retarget again okay so here it is um, almost perfect but actually uh, the legs overextend a little bit so i'm going to undo again and scale down just a tiny bit and retarget Cool, so that should do it. Um, and once you have the right size of the source armature, then you won't need to adjust it anymore. And I can select another animation and retarget it again. Okay. A little bit overextended after all, so let's scale down a little bit. So this is looking good. So that is why I said that you may want to rig your character again in inside Miximo because that will give you the exact proportions that your actual character has and then this process may become a little bit more straightforward. And also that is one of the main strengths and advantages of AutoRig Pro compared to other retargeters like Rococo. Um, because AutoRig Pro can do automatic IK retargeting and it tends to do it correctly so we don't have to do this annoying um, resizing of the armature and so on.